What's up boys and girls, welcome back. Welcome back to another Solo Leveling Arise video. All right guys, we got some secret messages going on at Netmarble. What the hell is happening right now? Uh, so CM notes, uh, this is CM Iron from Solo Leveling Arise. I haven't heard from CM Iron in a minute. The man just shows up to give us news and just pops away. He's kind of like a, like a politician. It's, uh, it's a little crazy because this time around, he's got a secret message balance buff news. And I'm like, why is this a secret message? Why don't you just announce this like normal? And at least give us some details. So at least we know what's going to be happening. So I do want to cover this a little bit. And I'm wondering now if these units are going to be getting the same treatment as Wu. We're going to find out because this is the same unit, just in different forms. And definitely, like 1000% definitely needs the buff. Because right now with Goga and He coming out, I don't know if, um, if Light... Is going to be any better than it already is but if they do the proper buffs here light and dark i should say because technically it's both with the proper buffs we might see some a comeback from both because for a little while light was probably the best because of beck cha and min and then of course everybody else started coming out uh dark really never had any form of supremacy in any any like literally any shape or form i think they were good like maybe early on but They've always kind of been lackluster, and SM Beck was supposed to be that bridge gap to, to give us, you know, the, that gap to give us that, like, supremacy from Dark as well, too. So I'm hoping that we do see this buff. But let's go through it all, and we'll discuss it. So please see below for details on the scheduled buffs. Uh, first off, this is a cool one. Artifact set activation conditions will be eased. Now, I'm not sure what the word eased exactly refers to. I'm not sure if the... If the buffs are going to be four piece buffs now rather than eight, because if it's guys, if it's four piece buffs for the curse, greed, and whatever else sets, bro, are you kidding me right now? Can you imagine putting four piece curse set with the eight piece activation? So, hunt like the, the 50% damage plus now being able to do the four piece expert set that would be insano. But I've been saying this all along with the Baron, introduction of Baron coming out very soon, that we're going to need as much help as we possibly can. And this is actually a very, very smart way to do this. So first thing, activation sets will be eased. A sufficient set effect will be applied by just equipping four burning curse sets. Now, again, the secrecy is killing me right now, right? The suspense is killing me because what the hell does a sufficient set effect mean? Currently, the set effect, if you guys don't know what a four-piece current curse set does, it's useless. I mean, it, okay, let's, let me take it back. It's not useless, but it's not what we desire. It's not what we want, right? So a four-piece four set right now currently recovers 25% HP or less. Sorry, 25% of our HP when we have 25% HP or less, and it happens only once per dungeon. Realistically, it's a big gap between the two set and the eight set. What we really want is the eight, eight piece set, right? So I'm hoping what they ideally do is they roll up two and four together into one which would be incredible and then make number eight as four and then if people want to push further and get the full ap set they do something brand new for eight i think that's asking for a little bit much but i think they will eventually if from what i'm reading correctly and what i'm assuming is the eight p set is the the effect itself will become the four four piece of set effect and then the four piece effect may get rolled into the two piece yo it's brilliant that's brilliant because now you can do something like this, right? You can go into this set, for example, and be like, all right, now I can put on my beast necklace set and take full advantage of the attack increase. Imagine having the attack increase at max and then having the damage increase at max. That is going to be nuts for damage. So if they plan to do that, yo, all the power to you. To like make that happen so that is a, that's a big one i think this is just as big as buffing the characters if not even bigger because this affects your entire roster right and not only that but they're also activating the activation conditions for burning blessing ap set will be eased now the activation set on that one if you guys are not aware on how that one works the blessing p set is as follows right um, activated when you tag out or using support increases the user's damage dealt by 20 percent unable to activate the blessing and enhance blessing effects uh, i don't know why this is considered something you need to ease up it's pretty straightforward you tag in you tag out right I, I don't know exactly understand why it needs to be eased up i think it's fine as it is but you know what any kind of buffing they want to do just take it <laughs> just take it and run you may as well right at this point so that is that's a pretty big deal now let's go over to the characters because this is also huge and these two characters definitely need some love like we're talking about 
let, let's just talk about them, okay? So first off, Silver Mainback. So so you guys know SM back right now is is in a in a in a rut. Literally the only furry in the game uh, is getting no love, and it's unfortunately it's the same character, just transformation versus non transformation. So let's just kind of go through SM back here and kind of understand what's going on. So his skills are pretty straightforward. He's got great damage percentages, so his damage is out there. The biggest issue with him is his bleed is useless, and they try to replace his bleed with this Curse of the Magic Beast, which also technically is useless because they're making you build him two different ways, which doesn't make sense. You, you, they, nobody should be built two different ways. They're, they're saying that if you want to use the attack version of him, great, you'll maximize all of his basic skills and his attack, right? If you want to use the Curse of the Magic Beast, which is essentially the bleed effect for bosses, you're going to need to build him max HP, which literally makes zero sense. Like, why would I want to maximize his HP because he already gets his ass whooped by himself? So two things they need to do here. They need to take away the max HP portion of it. Now, the reason why they use max HP, of course, and you guys need to understand this, is HP is always the highest stat you can get because the numbers, the sheer numbers are just too high, right? So they need to just scale this off of the max opponent's HP, not the max HP of the actual unit. That will, number one, fix that problem super, super easy. And number two, it'll make him OP. Let's be real. If you're scaling off of max HP of the opponent, you're instantly OP. That's because all the bosses that this will affect have massive HP pools. So that's easiest way to make him a viable unit. Number two, give him a damn lifesteal. Like when he hits 30%, lifesteal up to 50%, back down to 30, lifesteal up to 50%, doesn't matter, 75%, whatever. Give him a form of lifesteal because he desperately needs better survivability. Yes, he has the ability to do a little bit of damage reduction, but let's be real. Damage reduction isn't going to do shit all when a boss can one-shot you from 100% to zero. Let's have a little bit of like common sense here, right? Uh, and also being a, a damn furry and wolf, he should have an extra dash somewhere. Like he, he should have more ways to survive and be quicker than most other characters. Now, he's pretty fast, but they should give him another dash, in my opinion. So that, I think, would be the biggest and most impactful changes to SM back. My opinion, that marble, take it as you will. You probably already have the design set up, but I feel like he's going to get the woo treatment eventually, just not yet. Now, this man, on the other hand, listen, I'm actually a fan of Beck because his damages are nice, his percentages are good, his breaks are amazing, he has defense shred. My biggest issue with him is simple. His animations just take way too long. Yo, listen, you trying to be Michael Jordan? Why are you in the air for so long? Like, you waiting for an alley-oop? What, what, what the hell is going on? Like, chill out, bro. Just land. Like, the, when he goes up with one of his skills, I think it's this one here, the, the, the Ferocious Spirit. He's up there for, like, four or five seconds. Like, calm down, man. Like, just get, get your ass down and just do your job. So, one thing I would definitely fix on him is his animations. Both his animations take way, way too long. Speed him up. Speed him up, and honestly, that, that will solve a lot of his issues. I think that's really one of his biggest things. Also, the uh, the damage of White Flame Gale is not that great. I would increase that a bit. Break-wise, he's a good breaker, so I wouldn't even change that. But there's a couple different things that I would definitely alter here. Like, for example, increases the user's critical hit rate by 16%. Like, this is good and all, but he's scaling off of defense. Like, I would, I would rather see... Personally, because artifacts can fill a lot of the crit rate now, especially with how easy it is to get crit rate to 100% to 50% cap, I would honestly include like crit damage or like make him like suck crit damage or give him more defense. Just scale off more defense if, if that's what we want because we want more damage. That crit hit rate is going to get to 50% by artifacts alone. So I think that's the, those are the easy fix. But his biggest issue realistically comes down to his animations. His animations are absolutely atrocious. They look cool, but like. If you want, if you don't want to talk about meta and like how impactful it is, it's way too long, way too long. So improve it, like fast forward this shit, and you'll be good. And Beck honestly will be fine the way he is with a lot of the other things. I, I think A4 needs a little bit of an alteration. So those are the two big ones. Also, certain Sunjanu weapons will be buffed. Uh, SSR weapons, basic attacks will be increased, which is amazing because they do nothing right now. It's kind of like a pointless thing. And advancement effect for certain SSR weapons will be buffed. I can really, really smell Scatty on this one. I think Scatty will get a buff here. Maybe even the Phoenix Bow because I feel like there's been a lot of contention on its... It's very strong. It's just the cooldown time is, is insanely long, right? Plus, there's been a lot of bugs and we haven't been able to use it to its full potential yet. So, 
I could definitely see Demon Longsword needs another buff yet, ag yet again. Uh, Vulcan's Rage <laughs> needs another buff yet again. Uh, Scatty for sure needs a buff. And I would say, I would say, yeah, honestly, Phoenix Bolt probably needs a buff. If, if any SR weapons can beat an SSR weapon, that damn SR weapon needs a buff. Let's go with that. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment sections what you guys think. Uh, this is crazy. There's a lot of things coming up here. Uh, the game is doing its best to set things right. So I, I applaud the devs. CM Iron, you need to show up more often. Uh, maybe you should do like a podcast or something with CM Prism. Uh, I would love to see that and see where your, your social skills are at because these messages are always very positive for us. But I'd love to put a, a, you know, a name to a face at the same time. So I hope we see that one day. But outside of that, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, comments. Please let me know what you guys think and what changes you would like to see and which ones you think are most important. Peace.